friends. Thank you for joining me for day two of the Draw Along show for this week. It's a Thursday. So if you were able to catch up with us yesterday, we had a good time drawing together. We did a Draw Along, of course, and that was followed by a little art vocab. We talked about monotypes, and then we finished with your request as usual. Now today, same deal. We're going to do a Draw Along, a little step-by-step -step drawing. You can follow along with me. Don't worry, I always keep these simple and easy to follow along. And best news is they're all archived, so you can go back and watch them, and you can pause them, you can go slowly, whatever you like, okay? And today I'm gonna to show you one of my favorite books. It's called Vento, and it is so interesting and unique. Uh, we do this occasionally. I like to show you some of the books from that ridiculously cool bookshelf I've got full of nothing but art books and crazy cool story books. And then we'll finish with an animal and activity, which is where you suggest to me an animal doing something funny, strange, weird, bizarre, and I draw it for you. So that's what we've got going on today. Hope you're all staying active out there, getting some fresh air, exercising. Exercise is so important. Maybe you like running. Hey, got a question for all of you. Um, what do sprinters eat before a race? Nothing. They fast. <laughs> okay, why don't we do some drawing? So get yourselves a pen, pencil, marker, crayon, stick, or a nice long rod. Uh, that you can take uh, from, you know, a construction site nearby. They won't mind. And you can dip that in some ketchup and mustard and a little bit of curry. And then you can draw all over the walls at home. Doesn't matter to me. But to follow along, you're going to need to be able to do three simple things. And they are a straight line, like this. Okay. Zigzag. Or a curvilinear line. Could be a C curve, an S curve. Could be like that, like this. You get the idea. So while you're gathering your materials, let's say hi to some folks in the chat today. Who's watching? We have RB and Ruth and Umicorn and Steve and Sam and Mercurial. Nice to see all of you. What's up, Aaron and Sherry? Hello, hello, Lisa, how's it going? Welcome everybody. All right, now it's time to get cracking And Today's drawing is really fun because it's a fantasy drawing. We don't do too many of these. So I'm excited about doing this one. Now, we're gonna start out with a straight line just like that. Does it have to be perfectly straight? No, remember, we never have to draw a perfectly straight line. It'd be nice and wobbly, doesn't matter to me. All right, then we're gonna do a little bit of an angle upwards like this. We're gonna go up like that, okay. Now here's what I want you to do. I want you to leave yourself a little gap, okay, about this much, and then I want you to come down the other way like that, and then straight on down. So, like many of our drawings, we're starting with a little bit of symmetry, aren't we? Okay, now we're gonna do a nice zigzag line to connect all this. Check it out, I'm gonna go zigzag, 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 okay? If your zigzags don't look quite like that, it doesn't matter. Any kind of zigzag could go this way. Don't sweat it. The drawing's not gonna look any different. I'm gonna come back up to the top here now. I'm gonna curve this line up this way, okay? And next to it, I'm gonna draw same thing. Little C curve there, right? Beautiful. And then another one right here. Aha, very interesting. All right, now we are going to take this corner as our starting point. We're gonna move down longest line of the drawing so far, ready? Now this angle is not gonna be very big, okay? It's not quite straight up and down, it's out to the side a little bit like this. Okay, want me to do that again for you? Check out the angle. Same on this side. Any Caddyshack fans out there? All right, I'm dating myself. And we're just gonna square that off, just connect those, okay? So you can look at this line and you can compare it to this line and say, how much longer is this line? Well, let's see, one and a half or one and two thirds, maybe the length, you know, maybe even double, somewhere in that vicinity. Okay, but that's what you wanna do, all righty? Next, we are going to drop straight down from there, okay? just like this. Now, how long is that line? Well, if you ask me, it's about the same as this. Okay, same over here. And are you ready for more zigzags? This time I'm just gonna mess them up. I'm gonna go up, down, over, left, up, that, beep, bop. See this, they're all different, okay? Zigzagging all over the place. That's the next step. And under this line, I'm just gonna draw another line, same. Same kind of deal, just like that. Look at that. Hmm. What on earth are we drawing? Now we're gonna do a curvilinear line, okay? I want you to start here and move down to about here. Okay, give yourself a little room. We're coming from here down to about here. 
And we're gonna curve this line right down to keep in line with this, watch. Starting here, I'm gonna curve down and stop right about there. Okay, I'm stopping right about where this line ends as well. Now up above it, I'm gonna curve down as well. Okay, and I'm just gonna keep on going a little longer. Hmm. All right, now next to that, I'm gonna go one and a two and a three. Look at these lines. These are about the same length. These are a little longer. And right here, I'm gonna curve out a little bit. See that? Ah, I think we've just drawn an arm. What do you think? Looks like it to me. Aha, uh -huh. interesting. Okay, now from here, another curve. I'm gonna curve out this way. Remember where we started this one? Okay, same thing down there. Check it out. I'm gonna curve out this way like that. Same on top. Curve out this way like that. Mm-hmm. All right, now here comes one of those fancy hands we like to draw. And this is just gonna be so simple. We like to keep these simple, but they still look cool. We go up and down. Step one. Now I want you to come just above where that line ends, okay? And over to the right, and we're gonna go one, two, three, and a shorter one for four. All right, make this a little longer here because we're gonna take this and we're gonna right here between these two, between these two, I'm not starting up here, between them though, I'm gonna come down like this, down. And then I'm gonna kind of zigzag like that. See, I'm just kind of zigzagging it, all right? And then I'm gonna come up to there, leave a little space. Hmm, interesting. Now up here, Okay, I'm gonna carry it out. And then I'm gonna go like this, out, up. This does not have to be the same as what I do. You can make like your own random shapes here. Your own random shapes, okay? It's a club, gang. And from these corners, check it out. You can come in like this, in like that. You can make these little lines like that. Make a little club. Cool. Alrighty, now here comes the surprise for today. Remember I talked about fantasy? Well, check this out. We're gonna do a nice little zigzag. See, it's a small one, right? You see, that's a small one. And underneath it, check it out. Whoa. <laughs> that's right, it's a cyclops. Cyclops. Little triangle and a mouth. Didn't see that coming, did you, gang? All right. Now, line it up with the eye, come to the left here, we go out a little bit, and then we curve down. Line it up on this side, line it up, I mean, there you go, ba-boom, ba-boom. Okay. All right, now, squaring up with this line, okay, right here, I'm gonna drop straight down, and I'm gonna draw a leg. Okay, now how long is that line? Well, I'd say it's slightly longer than this one. Okay, you can make it longer or shorter though. Don't worry about it. Do not sweat it. Now I come over to this side right here. Okay, I'm lining up with this side of the head. I'm coming straight down from there, drawing another line like this. Alrighty. All right, now in between the two, okay, I wanna have some space. So I'm gonna go down, right? And down like that. So they're roughly the same size, all right? Remember our trick yesterday where we drew knees? We just did a little V. One, two, look at that. It's fun to draw knees like that. All right, now I'm gonna take this line and extend it a little farther and same with this one. These two inside lines are gonna come down a little farther. All right, and then these are gonna angle down like this, okay? And then check this out. Right from here, I'm gonna go down and then one, two, three, four down one two three four and then i just bring this line over to meet it never drawn a foot like that have you pretty useful now the last little detail is we just do this we just add some little like texture to this outfit he's wearing right this tunic i guess you call it okay and now maybe you could do something like this you could give him a little voice bubble and he could be saying something right 
or give them a little environment. You want to put some grass back there, maybe some other Cyclops buddies, some rocks, some trees. This is your chance to personalize the drawing like we love to do. We like to take these drawings as a starting point only, and then you take them and you personalize them. Do what you want. Maybe you'd rather put a hat on your Cyclops. Maybe he's dressed up for the night, a night on the town. I don't know. You tell me. It's, it's up to you. It's going to be something different every time. But there you go. There's your Cyclops buddy. Um, and now it is time for uh, favorite books. So today I have a really interesting one to talk to you about. I don't think you've ever seen anything quite like this. The name of this book is Vento. Vento. What does Vento mean? Well, uh, I'm not sure. I think it's. I think this is an Italian book, though. So maybe somebody could tell me. Is it wind? I know that in French, V E N T, that word is wind. Le vent. So my guess, because they are both Romance languages, is it probably means wind. But if there's anybody out there who's Italian who can tell me what vento means, I would certainly appreciate that. Uh, it would certainly be nice and helpful for all of us. All right, so Vento is the book. Now, what's so special about this book? Well, this is a picture book, and it is a wordless picture book. So that's one thing we all love, right? So just great illustrations. But here is the fascinating thing about this book. It has inside of it this little piece of plastic. Now, this piece of plastic can be inserted on any page in the book, and it will create lenticular animation so if I open up to this page, for example, here, I can place the plastic on the page. And if I move it very slowly, there is animation occurring on the page. And it's full of this. It's so cool. Every page has that. Now, I thought it'd be easier to show you this in a video. And so some kind person has gone ahead and done that for us. And I am going to just pop over there right now and show you a little bit of this video so you get a sense of how this all looks. It's really nifty. So check it out here. Got this page and you can see that animation, right? And then here, this girl sitting by a door and I'm not sure what she's waiting for. It looks like she wants her tooth to get pulled out. I love this boat one. You can watch the water. Check this out. You can see the waves, the waves going by. Pretty neat. Um, now, to get this book, I actually had to go to the artist's uh, website. And so the artist on this uh, was Virginia Mori. And you can see that right here on my screen. Virginia Mori. Okay. And the they were given credit to the quote-unquote director, Virgilio Villaresi, which I've never seen in a picture book before, where you give credit to somebody who is credited as a director of the book. Um, so I assume that the art director and the illustrator worked very closely together to bring this story to life. Now, I'm not going to tell you what happens in the story. You'd have to check out the book to see that. Um, but anyway, I went to Virginia Mori's website, and that is how I was able to find this book and get it. Um, and I have no idea where I found it in the first place. I think it was a post I found on Twitter years ago. Anyway. Check it out. That's Vento, one of my favorite books and one that I thought would be pretty cool to share with all of you. Tell me what you think about that in the chat. Let's see. Is that diffraction grating? Holy cow, here comes some really fancy words I don't know. Is it mercurial? You tell me. Um, I don't know what that means. Oh, you weren't seeing it on the screen? Hey, I'm sorry about that, gang. Let me try that again. Hang on a minute. Check it out. Can you see it now? Uh, here you go. You can see as they turn the page, there is the screen there. Just blow that up for you. You can really see it nice and clearly. Moving it along, the hair is blowing. You get the idea. How cool is that? And the book is full of these really neat animations. There. Ah, sorry about that. Guess I was sharing the wrong screen. Okay, you know what time it is now. It is time for the animal and activity. Now that means it is time for you to suggest for me in the chat an animal doing something funny, strange, weird, bizarre, crazy, unexpected. And I will draw that for you in the time that we have remaining. For example, look what we did yesterday. Yesterday we had an ant walking on stilts. See, look how creative all of you are, are because I never would have come up with that on my own, pretty nifty. 
Um, so we still got our Cyclops there. He's gonna be a spectator to what's gonna happen next. And I'm gonna get my nice light blue color to draw with, so I'm good to go. And let's see here. Make that as light as I can so you can still see it, I hope. And that's what I'm gonna sketch with. We always do the sketch in a lighter blue. Alrighty, now, Steve says, fun for uh, all ages of kids. Oh, that this book, I tell you, my kids were just obsessing over it for weeks when we first got it because it is so interesting. Um, Silen says, that is so beautiful. I couldn't agree more, could not agree more. It's a really, I've just never seen anything quite like it. And I don't know if it's diff diffraction grading, but that's a cool term. Never heard of it, never heard of it. Hey, Jerry, you're in Ardmore. How's it going? Thanks for joining, thanks for joining. All righty, uh, by the way, I used, to, I used to live there. It's a neighborhood close to where I live and that's a really great neighborhood. Um, so let's see our suggestions for the animal and activity. Remember to type them in the chat. So far I see a crane driving a steamroller. A crane driving a steamroller. Do I know how to draw a steamroller? I mean, I could kind of guess how to draw it. Um, let's see if we have any more coming through, but that, that one's actually pretty clever. I like that one, RV. Um, I'm trying to picture in my mind the steamroller, what that looks like. I remember the big giant wheel in the front, but other than that, hmm, tough. All right. Um, well, that might have to be it. I thought you all would have more suggestions, but what's going on? Did you not drink your coffee today? Is the chat broken? What's happening? I've only got one. I usually have about 15. I wonder if the chat's not working. Now I'm nervous. All right, well, I'll give it one more minute. And if I don't see anything else come through, um, I'm gonna do a crane driving a steamroller and that's gonna be extremely difficult. But RB, I think he won just by default. All right, let's see if I can make it happen. Here we go. Um, I'm gonna start with, like I often do, a sort of an area to kind of block off the drawing, okay? This gives me an idea of like how much space, how much real estate do I need on the page? Okay, and then I'm gonna think, okay, the biggest part of the drawing is probably that wheel for the steamroller, right? So we just gotta work that in in perspective. All right, and then we're gonna do this. We're gonna carry this thing around like that. And I think it's kind of got a, a section behind it there. You know what I'm kind of imagining? I mean, yesterday we talked about this. We talked about the printing press. And if you've never used a printing press, well, you know that it has a really heavy stone wheel, right? Sometimes a metal wheel, depending on the, the press. And I'm thinking about like how that looks and how it's connected. And so I'm just gonna take that information and make it work for this vehicle. Even if it's not quite right, I think people will get the gist of it. Okay, and then we're gonna have the cab sitting up here and then some, some tires back here, still large, but nowhere near as big as that wheel up in the front, okay? There we go. All right, now a little platform here so somebody can get up into this thing, right? Another big step right there. And then we're just gonna leave this open because I wanna be able to see that crane by the way, what made you think of this, RB? I'm so curious to know what it was that made you think of this specific animal and this activity, because it's very different from anything we've ever had up until this point. A little curved, curved roof up there for shade. This is like completely my own invention of a steamroller. I have no idea. Honestly, without photo reference, it's always so hard to just make this stuff up. But we're gonna do what we can. Okay, there we go. Um, now the control board, I'm gonna assume has a bunch of levers and gears and whatnot, you know, 
buttons and doodads. And I'm gonna have one of them right here. And the crane is gonna be messing with that, okay? And the other arm's just gonna be like down here. And what I'm gonna do is have the neck come out and in front like this. I know that looks funny. So I'll erase away that roof right there and have the neck poking out. What are those cranes that have that cool little tuft of feathers up in the back there like that? I love, I love that. I don't know what that's called, but super pretty. Are those herons or are those cranes? We have herons here where I live and um, I love it when we get to see them. We were lucky enough to have a little heron uh, nest close by to the house. And so for a while there, for a few years, we we're able to see herons very often. And that was just really neat. Close that off. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a little door kind of here, just the sort of, just a tiny little thing. and give him a nice comfortable seat back there. Okay, and that's kind of where I'm gonna leave this sketch. And I'm gonna move on now to drawing the actual line art. So let's get to that and see how we go, okay? Knock it back just a hair, we'll go back to 60% light, but you can still see it. I'm going to grab my darker blue and let's just go for it. Here we go. Around we go with this. And then back here and that's going to connect. And then we have our little uh, guard thingy here, whatever this is. I don't know what, what you want to call that. I don't even know if steamrollers have those. I just felt like design-wise it made sense to throw that in there. Drawing ellipses in perspective. Very valuable tool in the artist's toolbox. Get used to doing a lot of that, gang, if you want to draw. It's just one of the things you got to do a lot. go and then here's our dashboard so to speak right we've got this one big lever along with some other little bits and bobs and one wing is can, coming around uh, through that side and then we have the crane sticking his head out here and driving a steamroller. Really neat idea. Sitting on this comfy chair, or seat rather, in the steamroller. And he's got a little canopy over him here keep out the sun, it's not too hot in there, right? Actually, if I'm gonna do my perspective right. This should be coming around lower, just behind him there. But I know you all will forgive me if it's not perfect in that regard. Or will you? Alrighty, here we are. Some steps there to get on up. Whoops. Gotta be able to get into the vehicle. Of course, you know, he could just fly in, I guess. That wouldn't be so bad.
trying to draw these uh, ellipses here down to the wire though when the pressure is on it's hard to keep your hand quite as steady you know what I mean okay Woo! there we go holy cow what do you think hope you like that we did it we did it crazy suggestion I love it thanks everybody for tuning in same thing next week join me tomorrow for my master class at 4 p.m. Eastern Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, remember to be kind, and I will say ciao for now.